Hey everyone, it is May 8th, 2022. We are in Webwood, Ontario. We will eventually be going from here south to Whitefish, but we're here because I am going to show you the Huronian Supergroup in general cross section, because basically from where we are, as we head south, we will be going up section. We'll be getting younger. We're not gonna visit every formation as they are not all exposed and there's some faulting in other structures in here. So we're not exactly always gonna be going oldest to youngest because you have faulting and things like that. But here, let's start with this. This is a Mataenda formation. And you can see by looking here, it's very slaty looking. And it is, it's a meta sedimentary rock. This would have been a shale. There's also proto quartzite in it a lot. Some of it's fine crystalline, but a lot of it's a little more than that. With proto quartzites, their protolith are arcosic sandstones. So you get some of those and you get some quartz in here. And you can see the bedding and it glimmers in the light. Some places it does have more quartz. There's not much mica here that I've seen. But so that's what this is. And everything here basically trends east west, roughly. So north is behind me. So as we go this way, we'll be getting younger in section. So these beds appear to be slightly overturned. So there is some sort of structure here I'm not seeing. We're not gonna explore this whole area, but this rock is pretty metamorphosed. It, it's been through a lot. So there's something here. Uh, if, I, if I can find it on a geologic map, I'll let you know. But before I let you go, right here, there's a contact. And I think it's just a depositional contact. You look at this rock and it looks like a schist. It's very schisty looking. Uh, it doesn't really resemble that that much. You don't really see too much slate and proto quartzite, but this could have been an arcosic sandstone. I'll have to double check and be sure. I might take a sample of this so I can look at it. Or this could be a contact between another unit. I don't see any evidence of faulting here. I don't see any evidence of a bake zone of intrusion or anything like that. I'm pretty sure this protolith was probably sedimentary. It probably was an arcosic sandstone. The bedding's a lot thicker here than it is on this part. So I'll have to check that out. But anyway, that's, uh, that's it. As we go south, we'll get into younger and younger Paleoproterozoic rocks. This is Paleoproterozoic. This was deposited before the great oxygen event before the GOE. So the rocks here are not going to have any red beds in them. Anyway, let's continue on. 